Here's a uh, hard drive magnet that I had sticking on the fridge. Uh, I think it's pretty much the same as what that other guy had, except mine's still stuck to the back plate. Uh, this black thing is a magna probe for uh, dimensions. <laughs> That's about what I figured would happen. It's maybe an inch and a half long, uh, the magnet itself, by maybe a half inch wide. That's about right. About an inch and a half by a half inch, maybe uh, that's less than a 45 degree angle, I think. But so here's kind of the point. If we uh, take this and put this down a little bit, now you can see the field. This kind of shows you the field. So you can see there's blue down, which indica indicates a north on this side, and it flips to uh, red down. So it's a horseshoe field basically without the long horseshoe. It's, it's a single plane and the horseshoe is out here. The horseshoe is out here in the flux. And you see that goes a little ways above the magnet. I don't have very good lighting. So. Let's see. still affected a probably three inches above the magnet and specifically affected about two inches above the magnet and so anywhere right in there is a really uh, you know tense field it wants to suck the whole hole over you can see the magnet moving on the bottom yep there it goes and that will reset the math <laughs> that resets the polarity if it goes to the wrong pole you can kind of see. There it is. So it's a horseshoe magnet without being a horseshoe on a single plane, which is curious. Which would be probably why it's able to have a unidirectional flow from this pole to that pole over the coil. But then it has that other coil that sticks straight up right out of this side for that little setup. And that part that is sticking straight up is probably right on that fulcrum, or right on that uh, divisive plane there where the two poles are sitting. So that might be helpful, Luther, for you to build that bad boy and see if it actually does what it's thinking. That would mean it takes a single coil as an influx and then divides that up to either pole properly, properly bifurcating the different uh, polarities of flows, the two flows that are flowing simultaneously, which all makes sense. So maybe that'll work. Insulate it good. Anyway, there, I wanted to try and show that.